Hello Scorpio, this is Julie with Into Heart Space and we're here looking at the energy surrounding you for October 2017. We just finished eclipse, eclipse season, so hooray, hooray, that's done. How was that for you? Did you get through it? Yes, it was tough for many, so. All right, so the energy surrounding Scorpio for October. I call in the highest of light, highest of energy to guide me on this reading. Scorpio, what messages, what energies do we need to let you know of for October 2016? What are the messages? Okay. Let's see what we have here. <clears throat> Eight of Discs, The Magician, Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups. This is in reverse. Um, usually I don't do reversals, but I'm going to keep it that way. Page of Discs, whoa. Three of Wands, Four of Cups. Five of Discs, and Nine of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. So, some of my cards just flipped out. They just slid right out of my hand, but they weren't cards in, um, in part of your reading. So, there we have it. Let me just look at this for a minute. Yes, I do uh, reversals for private Readings, just not for the general, usually for the, for this channel. Um, but this is how it wanted to come out, so. <clears throat> okay. All right, so Scorpio, you're, you are starting. This is uh, the Eight of Discs in the middle of the reading is um, like an internship, starting to learn a trade that... Um, you know, it takes guidance and takes patience um, and that you have to toil at for a long time to, to reap the benefits. That's not something that is quick. It, it takes um, perseverance to learn this craft. And so there's something in your life that you're going to have to persevere through, whether it be a craft that you were trying to, um, to uh, learn and understand more, or it can also be, I mean, it can, it could be a relationship. Um, it could be, um, you know, updating your house too. Um, and you're just ha trying to get through all of the nitty gritty. And crossing you, you have the magician. So you have all the tools to learn this trade. You have everything that you need in front of you, but how you are going to wield that power is up to you. So the magician can be a really powerful person, and I feel like Scorpio, in a way, this is you, the magician, in this reading, um, that you you understand this this um, this craft that you are trying to pursue, and um, so you can use it for good. You can wield it in a way that is positive for you and your your surrounding family and friends. But there's also a temptation to it that you could. Um, you could manipulate it and use it for um, getting yourself ahead while others um, fall to the side. And, and I see that this is really tempting you, this, this, this other side of it, this kind of darker side of it, just because of the Five of Swords being the energy that's coming in from the past um, month or the energy that you're carrying in, the foundation. Five of Swords is, you know, fighting, quarreling, and doing whatever it is you need to do to get the outcome you want. So sometimes that's not the on, the most honest, truthful, upstanding path, but you're willing to take it to get your to get your winnings. So just be careful of um you know this this mindset of you have to win at any cost. And this card has been coming up actually for a lot of different signs. So I'll, I'll say the same thing to you, Scorpio, is at what cost are you willing to wield the power that you have? And, and we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse in the past. So this is um, 
lofty ideas um, being inundated with wants and desires, not knowing which way to choose, having um, an overwhelming um, want for so many different things. But this is reversed. So in that case, it's um, you, you might not be thinking big enough. You might, you know, be instead of looking past all the negative and looking to the bigger picture and all of the um, possibilities ahead of you, you're being a little narrow minded and um, keeping your head down when what you really should be is looking up. And so that could be what's directing you into this kind of feeling of, oh man, I have got to do this at any cost. You know, that because you 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 don't necessarily see all of the the options you have. And so the page of discs in the future is offering you um, ideas, is offering you kind of like, you know, I keep hearing the page is offering you an out, you know, out of this cycle that you're, you're creating, you know, of. Uh, well, I've got to do whatever I've got to do to get by, which, you know, I completely understand that, that, you know, you've been working really hard, Scorpio, but the page of discs is saying, you know, there's other things on the horizon. And so the page is also a very young energy. So it could be a child, um, it could be a teenager, and it could even be an adult, but with like a really childlike feeling to them. And they're kind of coming in um, saying, you know, we can do this. You can do this. Um, and it's looking towards the future in a positive way. Because you do, um, you understand, Scorpio, that there are other options coming in. You are, you do see that, you know, you have more than one, one path. And I think that's what's really getting you right now. And, uh, you know, like, I do feel that it is more work related because a lot of times the eight of discs, since it is a craft, has to do with your work. Um, and so you might feel like, you know, if you are in a job where you don't see any um, future in, you that's a reason why you need to pay attention to this um, this hobby or this craft that you are doing because that could be your message that you know that you need to. Um, start honing in on that because that could be your out and your financial um, leverage for the future. And um, so follow that intuition of yours and see that there are choices because this is in your subconscious so you know that it's there. Um, you just have to listen to it. And you know, um, we do have the Ten of Wands too. Here we are. And so, you, you know, you're, you are working in that outer world. You're putting in everything you've got. This is, you know, working with your burdens, working with what, um, even if it's hard, you're pushing through. And everyone around you can see that. And I know that you're pushing through because, you know, you, you see, once again, like here we are, we have the Three of Wands and the Eight of Wands, okay? So here we have... Um, you know, ideas coming in, and then the Three of Wands is you looking out for something new, okay? You can't really see that very well. And I think you're afraid of this, you know? I think you're afraid of this because of this this past um, not really getting what you want, not being able, like, things didn't pan out the way you thought it would. And so you're being hesitant um, and cautious of what you do. And so that's why also with the five of swords, it's like you're fighting a fight because um, you feel like you have no other option, but there are other ones, you know? And so in the four of cups, here we are. Um, you know, you have some decisions to make and you might just be fed up with having to make these kinds of choices. You know, you just you might feel really overwhelmed because we do have this, this reading has a lot of that feeling to it. A lot of those cards are like, I'm overwhelmed with, with choices. I'm overwhelmed with the work and the burdens that I have. I didn't get what I, I asked for or wanted, even though I was working so hard and now I have to fight a fight. I don't even want to fight. And so it's, the world is trying to offer you another cup and you're like, you already gave me three and they weren't what I wanted. <laughs> so Scorpio, 
um, ch take a take a look at what's in that cup. You know, it might just be what it is you wanted in disguise. And I know you're afraid that you aren't going to be bount bountiful, that things aren't going to be fruitful. Um, and, you know, that's that's your biggest fear is that these things won't pan out, you know, that this won't that this won't work what you're doing. But that's just a fear. This is, you know, you have like once again, you you're you are the ma magician in this reading. So you have all the power, all the resources. How are you going to use it? You know, once again, I'm going to go back to, are you going to use it for good? Or are you going to use it for, um, for to be manipulative, um, maniacal in a way? So make sure that, like, you are going on the up and up. Even with this fear, you do right. And if you do, here's the Nine of Cups. You know, it's a wish card. You know, you'll be sitting pretty and you'll emotionally feel content and happy with where you are. Um, and this, you know, for Scorpio, I really feel like this, this means a lot to you to be in this, to be in that, that position. Now, another thing I really want to focus on is, um, you have only one major arcana in this this reading. So your life in October is up to you. You know, and and the card that is a major arcana, I really feel is you. So the choices that you have and the choices you make can all shift this month. You know? So if you are coming in in this position saying, "You know what? I've been fighting. I don't like what I've done. I'm ashamed. I don't feel good about it." Um you can turn that around, you know, this isn't, none of this is set in stone, okay, so it's what you make of it that will, will, um, shift October, okay, I don't, like, um, I don't feel like this is a huge love reading, Scorpio, like, I really, I don't feel like that's where your focus is on, I really feel like it's on this, the, the work on the work that you have to have to do. Um, and honestly, I haven't had a lot of, um, love readings in, in, um, in October. I feel like everyone's trying to get their, their stuff together. <laughs> All right. So let's call on the angels. Or. Scorpio, October, 2016. I'm just not feeling, okay, let's just keep shuffling until the angels speak. Okay. What is that one? This one? If you get nervous, focus on service. Let me show it to you. Okay, I'll read it to you. <clears throat> Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. You know, these angel cards have just been hitting it on the mark every reading for October. All right, so um, let me read that to you one more time. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. Okay, so you know that that's this feeling that's coming in, you know, of, of being nervous, of not, you know, being left out in the cold, you're afraid that you're not going to get what it is that you need and want. And that, you know, and because of that fear, you're, you're putting up boundaries um, for yourself and others. So the, to combat that, it's find your center, be grateful, recognize where you are and say, what is it that I can do to make it better? You know, instead of being the victim and saying, well, all of these things have happened to me say, um, you know, all of these things have happened. 
what can I do to help out? So just frame it a little bit differently for yourself. And I think that'll make October a lot more successful for you. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much. Um, if you would like to continue this reading, I would love to give you a private reading. You can um, go to my website and request a reading. And I'm doing a 20% special running through October. Um, so 20% off all of my readings. Also, you can find me on Facebook under Heart Space, and I just do um, updates here and there. I haven't done a whole lot in September. The eclipses were pretty tough on me, but I'm coming back. Don't worry. And um, if you like this, this video, please like and subscribe. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and everyone who is out there. It's been so wonderful to do readings for you and to get to know you and hear your comments. Um, I, I just feel really grateful that I get to, um, I get to give, give this. So thank you, thank you. Um, all right, Scorpio, until mid-October, um, I will talk to you then. Love, joy, and blessings.